Uplift raises $10.7 million in Series A funding. Let's get into it. And welcome to Innovate Marketing Daily. Today is July 20th, 2023. My name is Sean P. Neal, and we are brought to you by mypodcast.media. So brands, if you are considering launching a podcast, and maybe it's for your marketing strategy or communication strategy, but you know that you need to connect with your target customer authentically, visit mypodcast.media. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Happy Thursday, everyone. So today's story comes to us from the Sunshine State of Florida, and specifically, put that target on the map for Tampa, Florida, as Uplift, Uplift, a behavioral health company, today announced it has raised $10.7 million in Series A financing. Congratulations to everyone there at Uplift. Okay, so the round was led by new investor Ballast Point Ventures, a late stage venture capital and growth equity fund with participation from Kapoor Capital and Front Porch Ventures. Now, existing investors, including B Capital, also participated in the round, and the latest raise takes Uplift's total funding to over $22 million. Now, let's take a moment and pause and talk a little bit about Uplift, who they are, what they do, to give a little bit of context here. So, it was Founded in 2020, and I want to just want you to think about this for a minute. So in 2020, of course, pandemic, uh, everything worldwide was suddenly on what we all called pivot. You know, every, everybody was doing the dance. Uh, and we saw a lot of behavioral health, mental health concerns uh, that really came to light. And people, you know, needed access to that mental health, behavioral health care. So Uplift is a technology-driven omni-channel behavioral health provider enabling whole person value-based care through the integration of mental and physical health. Uplift partners with leading national and regional health insurance plans to deliver high-quality virtual-first psychotherapy and psychiatry. Now, again, we, we talk about, you know, the pandemic, that certainly is a contributing factor, but we know that mental illness has been on the rise in the country and now affecting half, nearly half of all Americans, okay? Affordability remains the top issue stemming from the fact that fewer than 30% of therapists accept insurance for payment. Let me say that number again. Fewer than 30% of therapists accept insurance for payment. So this is where Uplift comes in. Uplift is playing a critical role in addressing this mental health crisis by providing access to insurance-based behavioral health care. Now, this new Series A funding will further expand access to Uplift's team-based behavioral health care model, enabling thousands of behavioral health care providers to accept insurance payments for the first time and help patients match with the right team of providers based on their unique clinical and non-clinical needs. Uplift currently serves patients in the District of Columbia, Florida, Maryland, New Jersey, and Virginia. And the company will also use its Series A funding to expand into additional states. So whether you're in one of those states, one of those locations or not, make sure you check and see if they are in your state currently or on their way. Of course, I'll link to the Uplift website so that you can uh, peruse everything that they're doing there. Now, Uplift has also contracted with Amera Healthcare at the S District of Columbia, which is a national leader in the man in the Medicaid managed care. Uplift and Amera Health DC will collaborate to enroll new and existing network providers onto the Uplift platform, forming a high performance network. Now, this partnership will empower patients to efficiently find and receive high quality care and enable network providers to deliver a seamless and effective patient experience. So a lot going on there. And by the way, Ameri uh, AmeriHealth Caritas DC uh, is a member of the AmeriHealth Caritas family of companies, and it's a Medicaid managed care health plan dedicated to helping members get care, stay well, and build healthy communities. Okay, so that a little bit about them as well. So a lot happening here, and I want to make sure that 
if you're you know watching this, listening to this, that I encourage you to drop by the comment section and just say congratulations to them for uh, this latest Series A funding and their goals moving into the future. There is a lot happening here. And again, they are meeting a very specific uh, need that I, I think benefits everyone. So with that being said, drop by, give them a, a shout, a holler, congratulate them, and keep your eye on them for the next 12 or so months and see how they continue to grow and implement this uh, financing into their growth model. And hopefully they'll be coming to a state near you. All right, with that being said, oh, I gotta get busy. The weekend, the weekend is almost here, my friends, so close, but yet so far away. <laughs> so I've gotta get busy. You know, looking for all the great stories of marketing, branding, and business growth, just like this one. And when I find them, I'll be right back here tomorrow to share them with you. So until we meet again, my friends, stay safe and be well. See ya.